I've cracked the code, guys. The code has been cracked. The code has been cracked on how to generate leads on LinkedIn. Done. This is the only video you need to you need to listen to as we head into 2024. I mean, it's a simple five-step process. I'm going to keep it so simple, but it's so effective. And yeah, let's dive straight into it. So this is the exact process I used to onboard 27 high-tech clients in the last six months using LinkedIn. All outbound guys, you know, if you are looking for ways to generate leads through outbound campaigns, through VAs going ahead and doing this for you, then please watch this video. Inbound is amazing, of course. Why we would all love, you know, people to just who want to work with us for me to just wake up and be like, you know, 20, 30 people, you know, want to give you their money. But not everyone has the luxury of people wanting to do that. The only way you're going to get inbound leads is if you build a personal brand and at the start it's quite hard for people to build a personal brand if they're just starting their business or you have money to spend on ads if you're on linkedin just forget about spending money on ads it's really expensive and if you're a small business owner you just might might, might not have the capital to do that so i'm going to show you ways to actually um to save money um to do it for free or you know outsource it to a va and things like that and so this is something i figured out the hard way so instead of posting every day and hoping for the best, which which you know what I was doing, I took a step. I took a step back and started posting, you know, twice a week, so I can actually start finding leads that might be interested in my services through you know, just going in and manually messaging people. So my aim was to send hundred new um, hundred messages a day. So coaches, consultants, those that's my target audience, and I just wanted them to know about me and how I could help them, or else I wouldn't sleep. And that's the goal. Um, I sent 100 messages. You can send unlimited messages via group. So if you go into groups, you can send unlimited messages then. But if you're not, if you're sending manual messages, you can only be 100 a week. So I personally advise you to make it a bit more personal. Um, you know, back when I first started my business, my funds were, were low and stuff like that. So I had to do it myself myself manually. But you can obviously outsource this to, to VAs or have outbound campaigns, which I'm going to show you in these steps. And so, so this video is for anyone who's looking for a predictable way to generate leads on LinkedIn and not hoping for people to just, you know, come to them and say, take my money. Because 90% of people on LinkedIn, they don't have the luxury for that. That, that 10%, there, there is that 10% who, you know, generate inbound leads and things like that. But the majority of people they just have to go out and, and find leads, have to go out and find opportunities to work with people. So you have to be proactive, ladies and gentlemen, or you're just going to be anxiously waiting and praying for another client month after month. And this is what I figured out very quickly. And I realized, wait a minute here, and no one's come to save me. I need to go and look for people that might need my help. So this is the five step process, nice and simple. Step one, profile setup. Step two, so an actual, you know, the invitation script. So what are we actually saying to these people, how are we connect them with them? Step three, sales nav and filtering out leads step four either hiring a va or having automated softwares in place and step five doing the boring things which i'm going to explain at the end of the video also if you wait until the end of the video i'm going to show you an example too so step one profile setup so the aim for the profile setup um was to build a profile like a landing page so prospects would know you know what you do and how you can bring value to their business I also made sure my profile was hyper niched, aiming to solve one problem for one type of audience. The only way you're going to get success with inbound is if your if your target if if your profile is super niche, like super niche. I always use this example: if you have a sore, you wake up with a sore back. You know, you've had a you've had a dodgy sleep. You have got a sore neck and a sore back. Where would you rather go? Would you rather go to a physiotherapist or would you rather go to a chiropractor? Physiotherapist is a generalist. They can help you with your your ankles, your hamstrings, your quads. But a chiropractor specializes in backs and necks. So which one would you choose? And that's sort of the mindset you need when creating your profile to really be more specific with who you want to work with. Because, you know, out of 100 people, 90 people would go with the chiropractor. As simple as. And that's how you want people looking at your profile okay he's a specialist in this and so this is the steps so the banner the banner you want to create something um make it nice and simple you want to in, you want to use it as leverage for instance 
you want to state who I work with and then just even if you get like pictures off the internet of you know the type of audiences you work with or just manually write it you make it look nice use your brand colors things like that or for instance where you see me so include you know where, where you've potentially be seen is it New York Times is it you know things like that just just anything that you can use as leverage and then as we head into the the title the headline so this is the formula I use you can literally take this now and just put it into your LinkedIn title so I help target audience to do desired outcome by doing the mechanism you use in time frame or your money back or something like that that's literally what you need to do you don't need to start saying I'm a CEO, I'm a co-founder, I'm an owner, I'm a speaker, I'm a this, I'm a blogger, I'm a writer. Because at the end of the day, guys, <laughs> no one cares. I mean, literally, I'm sorry to tell you guys. I'm going to be honest with you because I've got nothing to hide. No one cares that you're a CEO. No one probably even knows your company. They just care about what you can do, how you can bring value to them. So featured sections. So featured sections should consist of um, video testimonials, free value, whether that's a training resource you have, um, ebooks, audiobooks, anything you can give to your prospects so they can see the value that you can potentially offer them um, if they was to pay for you and then a calendar link so a call to action there and then the summary section so this is how you should this is the template I use literally for myself and my clients so first you want to state what I do and then where you see me where you see my work who I work with services I provide what makes me unique hobbies outside work what others say and then ready to talk so with a call to action so that's pretty much it keep it nice simple use emojis space out the copy and yeah so let's dive let's go let's go down so step two so step two is actually okay so what do i actually say what do i say to these people and this is the framework. This is the only framework you need. It's a four step framework. You first ask a question. So curious about a specific topic, i.e. the product or service you sell and tie it to a specific benefit they want or problems they need solved that can be related to that product or service. I'm going to show you an example, you know, after I explain the four step process so you actually understand what I'm saying. Then step two, you offer something of value. If so, I have a free training, a blog post, an ebook, phone consultation, anything related to the topic and question you asked in part one. The key here is that you're offering that you are offering something free and of value to your target audience. Super important. Step three, you ask for permission. Just reply yes, thumbs up. Just reply okay to share your content or information and give them a simple way to um, simple way to tell you they want to learn more about what you do remember to you know i'm not assuming my connections will automatically want a link to my free piece of content instead i'm asking them if they do this makes all the difference this actually is probably the most important thing you know when you're actually asking for permission they think okay this person is friendly this person is not trying to hard sell me and then step four and also another really important thing you don't pressure them if you're not interested look no worries at all just thought i'll check in Give them an easy, a easy way out if they're not interested. Remember the long game. If the person isn't interested in the specific topic or message, he or she might be. He or she might be the next time you send a note about something else. Keep it conversational, friendly, and easygoing in tone. And people won't feel pressured, or pushed, or sold to. That way, you can circle back in a few weeks with another message that might resonate with them, that they will be open to hear about. I've done this so many times. I've sent someone a first message. They're not interested. I've offered them something else and then they've been interested. But the, the only way I was able to offer them something else because the first message, well, they didn't feel pressured. They didn't feel like I was hard telling to them. So this is a sort of template you can use. So, hey, John. Hey, Francesca. Hey, Amy. Curious. Are you interested in? And then the topic related to the benefit they might want. If so, I have, you know, this free resource, free content for you. If you'd like to check it out, you know, just reply yes or thumbs up and I can send it over. And if not, no worries at all. Just thought I'd check. Best. Josh. That's literally all you need to do. Literally all you need to do. So step three, guys. Don't be cheap. Just buy sales nav. I mean, if you've used it before, you're going to have to get it. $79 a month. And just make sure 
okay you have 30 days to make this money back which i'm sure you will if you follow these if you follow these pro this process and so these are the only sort of categories you need to use on sales nav to be really specific with your your target audience so company headcount company type current job title years in current company years in current position geography groups schools user experience connections posts on linkedin so recent updates and people you've interacted with so this is literally the only um the only parts of sales nav that i use personally and it makes my my ideal client really really specific so i can send you know a message that resonates with them and to spark a conversation pretty simple stuff so outsourcing so there's two ways to go about doing this um, if you do have the budget you either allocate this to a virtual assistant you can find virtual assistants on fiverr upwork ph jobs is really good you have to pay for that though 79 dollars, but you can cancel any time you can find some some real sharks in in ph jobs and then facebook groups facebook groups you can find some real good people too that can actually go and manually just do this all for you so i'm teaching you and then you can teach them to do this they can just watch this video to actually understand what they're doing then linkedin automations have a look at some more but these are ones that first you've been working for me expandy i think that's about 99 dollars a month um zopto that's about a few hundred but this is probably the best one this is really good you should do your you know watch some youtube videos on that that's a real a real good um a real good software so step five staying consistent so this is probably the most important thing so once you've got everything set up you need to stay consistent you can't just you know, after two three days you can't just like give up and, and not do it this needs to be done every day and that's why i said either you hire someone to do it or you just have to have the discipline to do it yourself so staying on top of um outbound campaigns split testing scripts seeing which ones are working that's important because you just don't want to like if you send x amount of of messages and people don't reply that's fine don't just start beating yourself up just send something else figuring out a framework you can use to book you know six plus meetings a week so once actually people reply you send them you send them um the ebook how do you then spark a conversation again to get them interested in a call these are the stuff you need to figure out um, let me know if you want me to do a video on that and actually how to actually turn that free resource that you give into booking a call i can do a whole separate video on how to actually message and and um and converse with people and then you always want to be getting insights by your industry and things like that and you want to be getting you want to be getting feedback from your audience so you know what to message them and things like that so yeah guys this is the video it's a five-step process as i said um let me know if you found this valuable let me just go over with it with you again quickly step one the profile setup step two the actual scripts or what you're saying to people step three sales nav don't be cheap just get it uh, step four virtual assistant Step five, doing the boring stuff. Like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video, guys.